welcome back to the geometric design of highway in this lectures i will go through the elements of horizontal alignment the elements of horizontal alignments are first tangent then horizontal curve under horizontal curve there are circular curve and transition or easement curve then super elevation, extra widening, side distance, setback distance, and curb resistance. Although super elevation, extra widening, and side distance come under cross section element, we will deal these parameters under elements of horizontal alignment. First, horizontal circular curve. First, deviation are necessary due to the different obligatory points. There are two types of obligatory points that is positive obligatory points and negative obligatory points. Some of them are topography of terrain. In these figures, we have to align the alignment from A to B. But due to the topography, due to the topography, if we align the road directly from A to B, there is a high odd hole need to be balanced. So we have to follow, we have to follow the contour line to align the road from A to B. Second, restriction imposed by property like if our properties lies in this area we have to deviate the alignment from this side and use of the existing right of way if we if the right of way is uh, provided along this direction we have to align the alignment in the same direction to minimize quantity of order Similarly, in these figures, if you align the if you align the alignment A to B directly, then we have to consider huge amount of auto quantity. And to provide a access to the particular locality, such as residential area, tourist area, world heritage site, etc. Other governing factors of high alignment may be negative obligatory points or positive obligatory points that I have already mentioned. Now, types of horizontal circular curve. <coughs> First, simple circular curve, curve with constant single radius. Like this is the one tangent line and second the tangent line, here the deviation angle is delta. If the delta angle is greater than 3 degree, we have to provide radius of curve in this IP intersection point. That is, this is the beginning of curve, mid of curve, and end of curve. Second, reverse curve. Consists of two or more arc of one or different circles turning in opposite direction and join at a common tangent point like this is a tangent 1 tangent 2 and the deviation angle is greater than 3 degree, say 3 degree we have to provide curve and this is the simple circular curve and the, that is a beginning curve mid of curve and end of curve to be a reverse curve the next following curve should be deviation angle should be greater than 3 degrees 3 degree and the beginning of the following curve should coincide at the end of the preceding curve that is the end of the curve of preceding curve and before curve of the following curve must coincide at the same point to be a reverse curve and the radius of two succe succeeding curve should be in opposite direction that is the curve of the preceding curve has the center 
in direction and next following curve has center at opposite direction but end of curve of following and bc of previous B, uh, B, bc of the following curve should coincide at the same point to be a reverse curve and the third one is compound circular curve consists of series of simple circular curve of one or different radius that drawn in same direction and meet at a common tangent point that is this is the circular uh, simple circular curve and the next curve must initiate through the end of curve but in same direction of origin next next the curve also initiate from the end of curve of a preceding curve and the center lies in the same direction and this is called compound circular curve now elements of circular curve this is a tangent tangent and that is tangent length is the length from the point of intersection to the tangent t1 and tangent t2 that is t is the tangent length that is given by r tan delta by 2 that is e is the apex distance that is the distance from vertical and uh, sorry original point of intersection to the mid of curve and given by the formula e equals r bracket sec delta by 2 minus 1 then m is equal to mid of mid ordinary of curve that is the distance from mid of point to the chord length mid of chord length that is m is given to r bracket 1 minus cos delta by 2 then the length of curve that is from the beginning of curve to the mid of curve and finally to the end of curve that is l is given by pi r delta by 180 design of horizontal curve if a vehicle runs through a horizontal circular curve the vehicles act by a centrifugal force and a frictional force at tire a and b between tire and pavement surface then centrifugal force then the centrifugal force p is given by w p square by gr then we solve by solving p by w equals p square by gr where p by w is the centrifugal factors w equals to weight of vehicle in kg r radius of circular curve p is the design speed of vehicle in meter per second g is the acceleration due to gravity in meter per second and p by w equals to as i have mentioned impact factors are the centrifugal ratio centrifugal force has two effect and first one is tendency of o oh, tendency to overturn the vehicle outward about the outer wheel that is the, the centrifugal force tends to overturn the vehicle about outer wheel of the vehicle but for the equilibrium the moment created by the centrifugal force about point b point b that is a p into h that is h is the height of the cg from the pavement surface p into h must be balanced by the moment created by the self weight of a vehicle about b this is the equilibrium equation that is the centrifugal ratio must be centrifugal ratio centrifugal ratio is to b by twice h there is a danger of overturning when the centrifugal ratio p by w or p square by gr attain the value of p by twice h that is overturning occurs when p by w is greater than or equals to p by twice h due to the lateral shift of cg and the second effect of centrifugal force is tendency to speed the vehicle laterally outward that is that is the centrifugal force tends to lateral skid of the vehicle outward but for the equilibrium condition p must be balanced by the frictional force at tire a and b for the equilibrium condition p must uh, centrifugal force must be balanced by centrifugal force at 
f a and f b that is a friction force at a and friction at friction force at b then by sol by solving these equations we get p by w equals to f there is also danger of overturning when the centrifugal ratio attains a value of coefficient of lateral friction f in conclusions to avoid lateral skidding and overturning on horizontal curve centrifugal ratio should always be less than p by twice h or f as per nepal road standard 2070 cent f coefficient of lateral friction is recommended at 0.17 for designs with 30 km per hour and 0.12 for sorry 0 0.12 for 120 km per hour please like share this video and subscribe my channel for the more lectures thank you